Matt, it is Cinco de Mayo today. Yay! I was trying to think of a song to sing. Yeah. But I can't think of a song. And La Cucaracha seems like maybe that's offensive. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Well, well done. Well done. Well, happy Cinco de Mayo to you and yours. Cinco de Mayo, 5th of May. You're going to go to a Mexican place? I don't know if I've ever been to a Mexican place on Cinco de Mayo. What? I'm- yeah, I might have. Never? Just, it's tough to say. Back in your in your younger days, you weren't like, hey. Back in the day, I do Cinco de Mayo, Kate, but I'm all used up now. Maybe. Get margaritas for lunch. No? Okay. Uh, margaritas at home, maybe. I don't know. It's just one of those deals where, like, are Mexican restaurants crowded today? I don't know. I would be willing to bet. Okay. I'd be willing to bet. But a lot of people say it's the independence of Mexico, and it's not. It's the anniversary of the Battle of Puebla, just so that we make sure that that's clear. So you yes. don't go like, happy Independence Day to anyone who's celebrating Cinco de Mayo. It's not. It's the Battle of Puebla well, anniversary. Thanks for pointing that out, Kate, because we are, once again, mostly an educational show here. Correct. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I also think it's kind of weird that today is also National Astronaut Day. <laughs> so if you see a bunch of astronauts at a Mexican restaurant, <laughs> they are not yeah. there for a Cinco de Mayo. They are there for uh, astronaut day. Fully suited up. Fully suited up. How, how do you think you get a taco into your mouth when you got that helmet on? Excuse me, I'd like the space taco, please. <laughs> space taco. It's just an envelope that they just pour the powder into their mouth. Mm, <laughs> yeah. Spicy. And then a side of tang. <laughs> right. Uh, one side of tang, please. And just mix it in there. Do you know who celebrates their birthday on Cinco de Mayo? I do not. No. There's actually a couple of big names that you should know. Okay, I'll try to memorize them for next year. Not you should know, like names that you do know. Not like you should know personally, like they should be on your Christmas card list, but. Well, your Cinco de Mayo card list. There you go. Cinco de Mayo. Happy birthday. Oh, I totally forgot to get my cards in the mail for that. Oh. Damn it. Better send out an e-card. No postage. Good point. Good point. Good point. It's good for the environment. All right. So Cinco de Mayo birthdays. I don't know any. Chris Brown is 33 today. Damn. Yeah. Wait for it, though. They grew up so fast. Adele, 34 today. Now her most recent her, her most recent album is yeah. 30? Is that right? Do I need to look that up? I think you need to look that up because she names it the age that she is when she starts working on it or when it's released. I think when she starts working on it. Okay. I know we've been waiting a long time. Yeah, right. Her album was <laughs> delayed a lot. She blamed COVID-19 at one point, which is fine, but Taylor Swift released like 3 albums. <laughs> get to work Adele come on yeah seriously okay so I'm looking up I, I'm fairly certain it's 30 the name of her album, okay but my computer is running slow I was gonna say 31 but I think I'm confusing that with Taylor Swift 13 30 yeah 30 and her previous album was 25 so she, she took her time took, took her time 34 today though 34 oh man they grew up so fast yeah 34 and uh, Henry Cavill Man of Steel, Henry Cavill. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Superman. He is 39 today. Wow. Even Superman. Okay. And now the last one, I'm going to have a multiple choice. You ready? Yes. Kurt Loder. Uh, Kurt Loder. Is that an MTV guy? MTV News guy. Yes. Woo. So he wasn't a VJ, but he did all the MTV News. Right. Right. Who overdosed today? What? Like who overdosed today? <laughs> type of stuff. I thought you were saying somebody. I'm like, who did? <laughs> gotcha. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. She also did the Michael Jackson news. He did like the, whenever they did the, the like the concerts for like benefit concerts. I feel like he did those too. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because that was a news feature he would do once an hour, right? Or maybe twice an hour. I was going to say like 10 minutes to the hour, maybe. Okay. There was MTV News. I don't know. Kurt Loder. Yeah. Kurt Loder. That's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Right? Yeah. Okay. Is Kurt Loder 60, 
64. <laughs> Sorry, I thought the pop quiz was, do you remember who Kurt Loder was? No, right. you're guessing his age. Okay. okay. Is Kurt Loder 60, 64, 70, or 77? Oh, my gosh. All of these numbers shocked me when I, I was like, what? Is he 64? Is he 70? Is that your final? Final answer on who wants to be? 77. Oh my God. Kurt Loder was older than our parents doing MTV News. Sheesh. Huh. Yeah. It's like, Damn. okay, I had my heyday at CNN. Now I'm moving to MTV because I want to stay young. Yeah, because I was thinking 64 at first. Yeah. And then and I was like, well, geez, a lot of the other numbers that Kate gave me were a lot older than that, so I'll go with 70 and split the difference between them all. Yeah. But no, 70, 77, is that what you said? 77, Kurt Loder. Damn. Yep. Oh, we're so old, Kate. I don't think we're as old as he is. <laughs> that's true. I mean, he's older than, that's, okay, so my sister is 10 years older than me, so that's kind of mm-hmm. how I gauge, like, the VJs, like, okay, downtown Julie Brown, she's probably, like, 55, just Throwing that out there. The fact that Kurt Loder is 20 years older than downtown Julie Brown, just like, (laughs) what? (laughs) I don't even know. I have to look that downtown Julie Brown. Downtown Julie Brown. She was 58. What what did she do again? She was a VJ, but she's still still a radio host on uh, satellite radio. She does an 80s on eight. Oh, the channel. She still does like countdowns and stuff like that are you sure it's a radio show because i thought there were, were no other radio shows that was just matt and kate oh yep sorry nope yeah okay thanks i mean there's life outside of uh matt and kate but no i know right <laughs> right correct okay still she's 58 and he's 77 yikes kurt loader 77 happy birthday kurt did you like kurt I didn't mind him. I looked forward to the MTV news. Yeah, he's a fairly likable character. Like, what's happening? Right. Kurt Cobain blew his head off today. Oh, thanks, Kurt. I don't think that's how he phrased it, but uh, (laughs) that was definitely one of his updates. (laughs) You don't think so? Okay. Kate, I sent you photos of my car yesterday, right? Yeah. R.I.P. Smashed. Smashed a smithery... I hit a deer yesterday. Yeah. De- deer listener. And, uh, yeah, you think that car's totaled? I do. Yeah, it's... Is it? Smashed. I think so. They're supposed to maybe show up today to do the, whatever it's called, appraisal, adjustment. Yeah. Whatever, but it's got 250,000 miles on it. It was a good run, Matt. It was a good run. Yeah, 2011 Toyota Corolla. I looked at the Kelly Blue Book and it looked like it was worth somewhere between three and four grand. And it looks like this damage might be that much, if not more. Did you buy it new? No, I bought it used. 83,000 miles when I got it. Okay. So it's been an okay run. Yeah, that's a lot of miles you've put on that car. Yeah, you know, and I've never owned a new car. But after looking it up, uh, I might be buying a new car because yeah. used cars are incredibly expensive right now. Treat yourself, Matt. Get that new car. Oh, uh, but I'm so cheap, Kate. I know. Remember how I, st- I-, I want to retire? Okay, but you can't walk to work. Well, that's true, but... Mm. Moped? Scooter? Moped to work. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be a hot look for me. Rollerblade. Don't you think? A rollerblade to work. Well, that could be pretty sexy, too. Hook on hmm. to somebody headed that way. Yeah, pull the old Marty McFly. Yep. Grab the bumper and get going. Hmm. Oh, that's what I need is a hoverboard. There you go. Yeah. Okay, so you're okay. I am. Yeah, I didn't suffer. Did you see it coming? Tell me the story. Come on. It showed up immediately in my windshield, more or less. I saw it, and I was like, oh, here we go. Slammed on the brakes, did not swerve. You don't want to swerve. 
No. Because then you start taking down other cars and you get a real crime scene going. And it also hurts your insurance. You're not able to have full coverage. You would, Yeah, you would have to pay for it. If I think that's right. Isn't that right? What? If you yeah. swerve? Yes, yeah, so a deer is a no-fault accident, right? So if you hit a deer, right. but if you were to swerve and miss the deer and end up in a ditch, that's on you. I didn't know that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So w- did anybody stop? Or did you just sit on the side of the road? And <laughs> It's funny you say that. There was one person who stopped, however... It was one of those people you see on the side of the highway pushing a bicycle. Oh. And so I could see him coming up and... He's not going to be of any assistance. Correct. Yeah, he wasn't able to tow me out of there. No. But I was a little bit spooked, so I went ahead and locked my car doors. So you didn't have any conversation with this person? No. I, uh, so I had moved to my passenger seat at that point because my dad was about to pick me up. Okay. And, you know, I wanted to get out of that side of the car instead of the side of the car that has all the traffic coming. Right. I think that was a wise decision. Yeah. So I could see this dude coming, pushing this bicycle, locked my doors, and then he looked into the driver's side window and said, you okay? I could hear him say that through the glass. And I said, get away from me. I'm scared. (laughs) No, I said. (laughs) That was your inner monologue. (laughs) Yeah. I said, I'm okay, thanks. And he kept on pushing the bike. And then, and then he kept on pushing his bicycle. I don't know. Is pushing your bicycle on the side of the highway more questionable than just riding your bicycle on the side of the highway? Either make me nervous. I always feel like a pull to pull over and be like, can I give you a ride somewhere? And then I also remember Dateline and I'm like, no, nope, I'm just going to keep on going. Yeah, too much Dateline. Too much Dateline. Okay, so mm-hmm. you're driving, you hit the deer. Your dad comes to pick you up. Yeah, it was a big one. It was a big one? Yeah, it was pretty. If you look at the damage again on my car, if you look yeah. at the, the photos, yeah, it was a big deer. Not as much hair as I expected, and I didn't see any guts, so. <laughs> I know. If you had to guess, did the deer survive? So when my dad picked me up, he was like, did that deer survive or take off because i didn't see he didn't see it on the road okay so similar to the deer i hit like five years ago at this point in that case a cop actually pulled up behind me and said there was no sign of the deer behind shoo these deer continue to mess up my vehicle looking back at our conversation you had responded did the deer live and I responded with, I sure hope it's dying slowly, consumed by vultures while doing so. Yeah, I think that's a bit far there. I think so, too. In retrospect, animal suffering is not good. It probably hopes that you're dying in a ditch somewhere because, like, damn, you messed up my day and now I got a limp and I'm missing a bunch of fur. Oh, if you're the deer? Yeah. You think the deer went through that complex of a thought process? Maybe, like... Dude, you slow me down. You do have a lot of hair, like, in the uh, crashed part, the collision part. Like, I'm looking at the big chunks of hair there. But I'm not seeing guts. Yeah, there's no guts. No guts. I think he made it. Hmm. Was it a male, by the way? I should be, I should ask. Was it a male? Yeah, stop being so gender normative, Kate. Only. Well, you said it was a big deer, so I assumed buck. No, no horns on it. No horns. So I think it was doe a deer, a female deer that missed up my car. Yeah. And probably put it out of commission. Well, thank goodness you are okay. True. Yes. How I've been far into your very commute fortunate. were you? Uh, 15 minutes. <laughs> that's, that's better than like, I was so close to work. Like, I just got on the road. This is just the way to start my day. Yeah, it was actually I-635 through Kansas City, Kansas, is where Mm. I hit it. And I'm glad I gave up on waiting for the tow truck. When I hit the deer five years ago, tow truck arrived within, like, half hour, 45 minutes. Yeah. 
And in this case, I gave up at like the hour and a half mark. Oh, yeah. And then didn't get the call from the tow truck driver for another like hour and a half, two hours. So I'm glad I finally gave up and absolutely had my dad come get me out of there. Thanks, Papa Stukes. Yeah. Andy's mowing my lawn today. Get on he's, it. He's the man. Yeah. Hurry up, dad. Mow my lawn. I want to see it look like the outfield of Kaufman. That's right. Crisscross. Oh, he fertilizes it and everything. It looks fantastic. Nice. Yeah, you can see some of my lawn there in that picture. You see it? Let me go back. I was zoomed in on the deer hair. (laughs) Yeah. That's a decent bit of deer hair deposited. That is. Yeah. Okay. I can't really see your lawn, Matt. I can see like the in-between you and your neighbor. Yeah. Okay, that doesn't count. And that's that's your lawn? Yeah, and actually that part yeah. of the lawn is where some, like, crabgrass comes in. Oh, Papa Stooks, get that out of there. That was Richard's fault, actually. Oh, Richard. Who called me, by the way. Richard called me after he <laughs> arrived home and saw my vehicle destroyed, making sure I was okay. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, he's a sweetheart. Hey, while you're home, can you water some of my plants? Exactly. I need to plant some plants just to get Richard back for making me water his. Good point, Kate. (laughs) Just to get him back. Yeah, get him back. Sweet, sweet revenge. But no, no plants, just grass. Well, I do have the fake plant, which is due. I need to get that back outside. The fake flowers aren't fooling people in the winter time, turns out. Probably not. Mm Mm-mm. Probably not. But time to get... Although, I don't know, it seems like we're freezing from time to time. Maybe we're finally being done with freezing mornings. Did you hear about the panhandle of Nebraska getting 15 inches two days ago? Oh, my God. And last week, it was 90 degrees. Wow. In in the panhandle? In the panhandle. Yeah. (laughs) Is that how you say the panhandle? The if you're panhandle. The I, panhandle part of Nebraska? I mean, I don't think I knew that Nebraska had a panhandle. I thought just Oklahoma had a panhandle. But if you look at Nebraska, I'm like, that's a sturdier pan than Oklahoma, but it's got a handle, I guess. It's a sturdier pan. You could fry a larger chicken in there, or you could fry a whole chicken Maybe in there. Maybe like it's a, like a Dutch oven of pans. I don't know. But okay. yeah, 15 inches of snow. I don't think a Dutch oven has a handle. Yeah, they do. Not like a pan handle, but they have handles. Dutch oven. I'm searching now. All right. So what were you saying? It's just 15 inches of snow in the first couple of days of May. Nah, Dutch oven has handles on both sides of it. Right. So it has handles, but not like I was talking about like a thicker. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Deeper pot. Yeah. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. So, Monty's birthday, my husband Monty, his birthday is on May 1st, and he said he's had many a birthday where he's had snow on his birthday, but... Really? Okay. 15 inches, for the love of God. It was 90 degrees last week in the panhandle of Nebraska. That's a great accent. Thank you. Thank You've you. been practicing that for a while, huh? A little bit, a little bit. Good old Nebraska. It's, it's right there. Just right there. It's not right there like Leavenworth is, though. LV what? Yeah. There you go. Taking that up for you. Love it. I love it. I was driving by somebody the other day that had Leavenworth tags on. Uh And I did LV what with my hand. And they gave me the nod. I was like, yeah. (laughs) I know. I know. You can do an LV what with just one hand? Yeah. Okay, so. How do you do the V? Put your ring finger and your pinky down. My ring finger and my pinky. On which hand? What do I need to do? It doesn't matter. Here? Either hand. Okay. Pinky and ring finger down. Yep. All right. It's far left. Okay. So you've got your pointer, your middle, and your thumb. Now you extend your thumb like if you were doing loser. Oh, I see. So it's All right. L, V. And if you really want to get crazy, you can put your ring finger up and be like L, V, what? It's like a motion. Yeah. I see. Hmm. Yeah. Nice, Kate. Thanks. I know. I got the nod from the uh, Leavenworthian as they were driving. Did you? I did. Oh, I didn't know that was... So that's well known. Yeah. 
LV what? Well, sorry. I don't know. I did LV what? A little nod. Sorry to our Leavenworth listeners for me being ill-informed. But now you know. The more you know. Is that how it goes? The more you know. No. uh, The more you know is good. That's the NBC slogan. But now you know is, I believe, a he... No. G.I. Joe. Now you know. And knowing, Kate? Do you know the rest? I don't. Half the battle. No. Yep. G.I. Joe. Real American hero. I believe that was an end of the episode. Ah. Time to time to learn. He Man also had a similar kind of breakdown at the end of ep- He Man or She Ra or maybe both. So before Jerry Damn. Springer's little blurb at the end, mm. there was He Man and She Ra and G.I. Joe teaching us lessons at the end of the show. Sure. Yeah. I think they were less obscene than the Jerry Springer lessons that we learned. I don't know. Have you seen what she and He-Man were wearing? You're right. Mm -hmm. Barely anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very hot. Animation. Brother and sister, right? Were they brother and sister? I think so. So it's not like they hooked up or anything. Let me look up she Make sure. she Wikipedia. I had she stuff, but she just wasn't as cool as He-Man. I was very jealous of my brother's He-Man toys because they were mm. way cooler than She-Ra. Yeah, we had a decent bit of He-Man toys too. Moss Man. Gray Skull Castle. Yeah. And the Battle Cat. Battle Cat? Was that the name of it? Yeah, Battle Cat's He-Man's. Cringer was Battle Cat's name before He-Man and Battle, Battle Cat would transform. Was it green? Yes, correct. Okay, I'm okay. And it was like a weird plastic. And if you grabbed it by the tail and whipped it at your sibling and it hit you uh-huh. on the shin, it really stung. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I didn't experience that. Ugh. That I recall. I don't have that childhood memory. Okay. Princess Adora is She Ra's name before she turns into She Ra. Prince Adam is the name of He Man before He Man becomes He Man. You know, before he says, by the power of Grayskull, I have the power. Princess Adora is the long lost twin sister of He-Man. Ah, gotcha. Prince Adam. And did you know she was first introduced in a 1984 mini comic called The Story of She-Ra, Kate? I did not know that. Neither did I. Thanks, Wikipedia. For the toy line, see Princess of Power. There's a link here. For the 1985 series, see, see She-Ra, Princess of Power. Huh. But there is a She-Ra and the Princess of Power five seasons on Netflix. Oh, that's right. They brought back She-Ra. Yeah. What other cartoons? They brought back other stuff too, right? Did they bring back... Animaniacs. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Animaniacs. Mm-hmm. Did they bring back... What's... Uh, what's the name? Star, what, what's the deal? Jen, something like Gem? that. You know? Jim, yeah. I think Jim was supposed to be a movie, but I don't know if they did an animated. Is that J E M TV program? Yeah. Jim TV series, Wikipedia. Jim and the holograms. I remember watching a little bit of that. It wasn't quite my wheelhouse. I had Jim. She was way bigger than the Barbies, and her earrings lit up. Fun. Oh, yeah. But you couldn't play Barbies with her because she was like Amazon. <laughs> like, wow, who's your ginormous oh. friend? Oh, it's Jim. <laughs> and she just stomped on... Ken. Barbie. Skipper. <laughs> Ken. Yep. Genitalless Ken. Yep. Why did my mind go there immediately? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not not sure. sure. Mm-mm. Yeah, he's got that. He's got that big energy, you know. <laughs> right? Doesn't doesn't doesn't. <laughs> no, actually, I don't think he does. See, I will always think of Ken <laughs> as in Toy Story Ken, where Michael Keaton does Ken, and he's a very feminine Ken. When did Ken first appear in Toy Story? Do you know? Toy Story three. I'm looking it up. 
Toy Story 3. Mm-hmm. Toy Story 3, Barbie Loves Ken 2009 doll is available for 299 bucks on eBay, Kate. Yeah. Mm, that's pretty good. He serves as the secondary antagonist in Toy Story 3 and later appears in Hawaiian Vacation. Which is really funny. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that. It's a short. Oh, it's a Pixar short? Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Those are pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do they show his fupa in there? His bear fupa? He doesn't have a fupa. <laughs> That's true. He's got good abs. <laughs> Ken doesn't have a fupa. I don't know that any of the Barbies have fupas. <laughs> That's a good point. That's not very inclusive. Right? They should do that. Yeah. Look Ken up with a fupa. Maternity Barbie. Post maternity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. Way to go, Clarence. Right. Oh, dear. Mother's Day is on Sunday. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, what do you think? Are you going to get hooked up? What do you mean? With a good present oh. or breakfast in bed or something like that. You're a mother. You've got two kids. And a husband who shouldn't blow it. Don't blow it, Monty. Don't blow don't it. Don't blow it, Mont. He never does. He's always good. Is that right? But we're having the mothers over for Mother's Day. So his mom and my uh-huh. mom will be here for Mother's Day. So And they can stand each other? Yeah. That's good. Get along. Yeah, a lot of in-laws don't. Oh. That's all. Yeah. Mine do. Yeah. My mom and, nice. and his mom get along great. That's convenient. Yes. And... We haven't had very many occasions where they're together. So this will be nice. Yeah. Yeah. So what are you guys going to do? You going to make a roast? Probably not. I think we're doing grilled chicken. Monty's famous grilled chicken. Oh, I didn't realize Monty had a famous grilled chicken. He does. There's it's Mm. so good. He had to soak it in buttermilk for a day and. Oh, damn. Yeah. Mm. It's easy to mess up chicken, by the way. It is, but Monty is real good at chicken. So we're going to do like some grilled chicken and maybe some tater salad and cucumbers and sour cream. And Did you say tato, tato salad? Potato salad? Oh, I thought you, maybe you'd abbreviated it to tato. Tato salad. Got tato salad in here. I think if I would have abbreviated it, I would have gone with tater. Tater salad, but potato salad. Don't be a tater hater. No. I mm-hmm. wish I didn't love potatoes as much as I do, but oh, Don't hate the tater, hate the game, right? All right. Don't hate the tater, hate the sweet potato. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah. You don't like sweet potatoes? No. See? Picky eater. I don't. Let's take a poll. Let's take an office poll of who likes sweet potatoes. I bet you it's not as picky as you think. I bet you there's a majority of people who don't like sweet potatoes. Majority? Yeah. Oh. I went bold on that one. Check out the guts on Kate. I know. Yeah. Cinco de Mayo, I'm feeling real gutsy. How am I going to take this poll? Just write it on, put a thing up on the refrigerator? Or, you know, water cooler talk. Hey, man, you like sweet potatoes? <laughs> water cooler talk. Bust out your notebook. Write it down. Tally. Sweet potatoes, anti. Sweet potatoes, pro. That's a good point because I have not been using my... Notepad very much. That'd be a good opportunity. Come on. Bust it out. That I'll clearly forget about and not do. Hmm. 